atheism has nothing to offer. That's right. They don't offer a God who loves you, a God who's given you purpose, a God who has sacrificed his life. I want you to think for a moment. Contrast the atheistic message with the message of Christianity. Message of Christianity is so positive. God created the worlds. And if he created the worlds, and since he did, then he created it with a purpose. And what was that purpose? To provide a habitable place called planet Earth, to raise up living creatures, and among them, the most important living creature, human beings made in the image of God, creatures that have the ability to believe in God. But the message of Christianity is that man rebelled against God, very much like a child rebels against their parents. But God doesn't give up on us. He loves us so much that he gave his one and only son. The message of Christianity is God exists and God the creator loves you. That's the message of Christianity and that God can forgive you of your past sins so you don't have to live in guilt over your past mistakes that you've made. On top of that, God gives you purpose and the promise of eternal life that when you die, you're still going to live on forever and you're going to live in a place called paradise, heaven, where, where, where there would be no more pain or suffering like this present world has. But God also gives us empowerment in this life. He promises those who have been born again, ask the Father for the Holy Spirit and he will give him to you. And that's what happened to me when I was around 18, 19 years old. I asked the Father for the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit came upon me and I fell on the ground and was laid down on the ground for a couple of hours. And there God filled me with his power and he gave me the gift of tongues. From that time on, I was able to preach in a powerful way. I was able to pray for the sick and see them recover. And since then, I have seen hundreds, perhaps even thousands of healings and miracles simply because I prayed. And some of them I laid hands on as, as Jesus told us to do. I have seen miracles in my life. And on top of that, I know one day when it's my time to die, I'm not going to go into non-existence. I'm going into the presence of God. Now, contrast Christianity's great positive message with the atheists. The atheists remind me as, as Eeyore, the donkey and Winnie the Pooh. Hello, I'm an atheist. God doesn't love you because God doesn't exist. The universe is an accident. You're an accident. You have no purpose. And when you're dead, you cease to exist. That's life. The best you can live is eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow we die. So how about it, Christians? Would you like to leave the message of God's love for you to join with us in a message of no purpose, no reason to live, and once you're dead, you cease to exist? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> you, you're, it, it, you atheists are offering me somewhat like someone who has a luxury car and says, I'll trade you my skateboard for your luxury car. No, thank you. Keep your skateboard. <laughs> I'll keep driving my luxury car. You atheists have no positive message. So I say to the atheists, come on, why not leave it? Why not believe in a God who made you? Why not believe that you were made with a reason, a purpose? Why not accept Jesus Christ? Have your sins forgiven. Know that you will have eternal life. And then ask the Father for power like I did. And he'll give you supernatural power to preach, to live a life of love, to be kind and gracious to people. And yes, to even perform miracles. Friend, that's the message that Christianity offers you. How about it, atheist friend? Why not accept Jesus Christ?